Best Friends for Francis by Russell Hoban, pictures by Lillian Hoban. Best Friends for Francis by Russell Hoban, pictures by Lillian Hoban. It was a pleasant summer morning, so Francis took her bat and her ball and some chocolate sandwich cookies and went outside. Will you play with me? Francis's little sister Gloria called her as she was leaving. No, said Francis, you're too little. Gloria sat down on the back steps and cried. Francis walked over to her friend Albert's house singing a little song. Sisters that are much too small to throw and catch or bat a ball are really not much good at all except for crying. When Francis got to Albert's house, he was just coming out, and he was carrying a large, heavy-looking brown paper bag. Let's play baseball, said Francis. I can't, said Albert. Today is my wandering day. Where do you wander, said Francis. I don't know, said Albert. I just go around until I get hungry, and then I eat my lunch. That looks like a big lunch, said Francis. It's nothing much, said Albert. Four or five sandwiches and some apples and bananas and two packages of cupcakes and a quart of chocolate milk. Can I wander with you? asked Francis. I only have one lunch, said Albert. I'll bring my own, said Francis. I'll run home and get it right away. No, said Albert. I think I better go by myself. The things I do on my wandering days aren't things you can do. Like what? said Francis. Catching snakes, said Albert. Throwing stones at telephone poles. A little frog work, maybe. Walking on fences. Whistling with grass blades. Looking for crow feathers. I can do all that, said Francis except for the frog work and the snakes. That's what I mean, said Albert. I'd have to ruin the whole day showing you how. I'll see you tomorrow. Then Albert went off to wander, and Frances walked slowly home with her bat and ball singing. Fat boys that eat too much lunch can't do a thing but munch and crunch and play with snakes and frogs. When Francis got home, Gloria said, Will you play ball with me now? You can't bat and you can't catch, said Francis, and you can't throw either. I can if you stand close, said Gloria. All right, said Francis, and she played ball with Gloria. The next morning, when Francis went to Albert's house, Albert was playing ball with his friend Harold. Can I play? asked Francis. She's not much good, said Harold to Albert, and besides, this is a no girls game. Can't I play? said Francis to Albert. Well, it is a no girls game, said Albert. All right, said Francis. Then I will go home and play a no boys game with my sister Gloria, Mr. Fat Albert. So ha, ha, ha. Francis walked home, and as she walked, she sang. Boys to throw and catch and bat are all the friends that Mr. Fat Albert will have from now on. He will not have me. When Francis got home, Gloria said, How did you play so fast that you are home so soon? It was a fast game, said Francis. You are lucky that you have a friend to play with, said Gloria. I wish I had a friend. I thought Ida was your friend, said Francis. Ida's away at camp said Gloria, and when she is here, she only wants to play dolls and tea party. She never wants to catch frogs or play ball. 
Can you catch frogs? asked Francis. I use father's old hat, said Gloria. Shall I show you how? Later, said Francis. Do you want to play ball? All right, said Gloria. If any boys come, they can't play, said Francis, and I think I will be your friend now. How can a sister be a friend, said Gloria. You'll see, said Francis. For frogs and ball and tea parties and dolls, said Gloria. Yes, said Francis. And will you show me how to print my name? said Gloria, and tell me what the letters and numbers say when I make letters and numbers? Yes, said Francis. Then you will be my best friend, said Gloria. Will it just be today or longer? Longer, said Francis, and today we are going to do something big with no boys. What, said Gloria, we will have an outing said Francis, and there will be a picnic and songs and games and prizes. Mother helped Francis and Gloria get everything ready and packed in Francis's wagon. Then Francis and Gloria went off to the outing. In the wagon was a picnic lunch in a hamper. There were also two burlap sacks for the sack race, an egg for the egg toss, and a jar with two frogs in it that Gloria had caught for the frog jumping contest. And there were balloons and lollipops for prizes. Francis had made a sign to carry on the outing, too. It said, Best Friends Outing, No Boys. Francis and Gloria held the sign high as they passed Albert's house, and Francis sang, When best friends have an outing, there are jolly times in store. There are games and there are prizes. There is also something more. There is something in a hamper that is very good to eat. When best friends have an outing, it's a very special treat with no boys. What is in that hamper? asked Albert as he came running out of his house. I don't know, said Francis. Nothing much. Hard boiled eggs and whole fresh tomatoes, carrot and celery sticks. There are some cream cheese and chive sandwiches, I think, and cream cheese and jelly sandwiches too, and salami and egg and pepper and egg sandwiches, coleslaw and potato chips, of course, ice cold root beer packed in ice, and watermelon and strawberries and cream for dessert. And there are other things I forget, like black and green olives and pickles and popsicles and probably some pretzels and things like that. And there are salt and pepper shakers and napkins and a checked tablecloth, which is the way girls do it. Could I come along on the eating, said Albert. You mean outing, said Francis. Outing, I mean, said Albert. Could I come along? That wagon looks very heavy to pull, and you will probably get all tired out unless I help you. I don't know, said Francis. You can see from the sign that this is a no boys outing and is only for best friends. What good is an outing without boys, said Albert. It is just as good as a ball game without girls, said Francis, and maybe a whole lot better. Can't I be a best friend? asked Albert. I don't think it is the kind of thing you can do, said Francis, and it would ruin my whole day to have to explain it to you. I can do it, said Gloria. I can be a best friend, and I can catch frogs too. I can catch frogs and snakes, said Albert. Let him be a best friend, said Gloria, and he can show me how to catch snakes. I'll get my snake pillowcase right now, said Albert. Well, I'm not sure, 
said Francis. Maybe you'll be best friends when it is a goodies in the hamper time. But how about when it's a no girls baseball time? When we are best friends, there won't be a no girls baseball, said Albert. All right, said Francis, and she crossed out the no boys on the sign. Then they started off again. Albert pulled the wagon to the outing place while Francis and Gloria walked ahead with the sign. The outing place was at a maple tree on the hill by the pond. Everybody had a good time there. First, Albert called a snake for Gloria, and then they played games. Gloria won the sack race, Francis won the egg toss, and Albert won the frog jumping contest with a fresh frog he caught right there at the pond. So everybody won a prize. Then Francis made up a party song and everybody sang it. When the wasps and bumblebees have a party, nobody comes that can't buzz. When the chicks and ducklings have an outing, everybody has to wear fuzz. When the frog and the snake have their yearly clam bake, there's plenty of wiggling and hopping. They splash in the pond and marshes beyond, and everybody has to get sopping. And at the best friend's outing, said Albert, everyone has to eat, don't they? Yes, said Francis and Gloria, and they opened the hamper. Maybe we pack too much, said Francis. I'm not sure we can eat it all. That is what best friends are for, said Albert, as he quickly spread the tablecloth. I will help you finish it all. That is what Albert did, and when the picnic was over, the hamper was not heavy at all. I call that a good outing, said Albert, and he gave Francis and Gloria a ride in the wagon while he pulled it all the way home. The next morning, Albert came over with a bunch of daisies for Francis. What are the daisies for, said Francis. Well, said Albert, we are best friends now, and I am a boy, so that makes me your best boyfriend, and that is why I brought you the daisies. Thank you, said Francis. Then Gloria sat down on the steps and cried. Why are you crying, said Francis. Because you have Albert to be your best boyfriend and bring you flowers and play ball with, said Gloria, and you won't be my best friend anymore. Yes, I will, said Francis, and besides, I'm not sure that I'm going to let Albert be my boyfriend. Then let him be mine, said Gloria. Not so fast, said Francis. It was only yesterday that you got to be big enough to play baseball but I will give you half the daisies Albert gave me. So Francis gave Gloria half the daisies, and Gloria stopped crying. Then Harold came over, and everybody played baseball. Gloria, too. <laughs>